You ever had or Don't say names Don't say names Sean. I said it again Don't say names <laughs> You ever had somebody Come in camp And just let you down Like oh man You ain't what I thought you was Like just After a day A week of training with you Just like he like Oh man Pour, pour it away Pour it away Don't say names <laughs> I just told you Don't say names I can say names you got at this end of the day, you're respected by your peers, and I want to continue. I that. spar with David. Oh my once. god! <laughs> well, I just we 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 already got an issue with them. I spar. Oh my god! <laughs> I spar uh, with David uh, once, and we did. Ooh, we did ten or we did twelve rounds. That was I think the, we did ten. That was rounds. the. It's when I went out to LA. I went out to Cali to spar with him. Getting ready for Big Boy, right? Uh, getting ready for. Spence. Yeah, I was getting ready for Spence. Yeah, yeah. Now he was whooping your ass. Who? Yeah, they, the, the film I seen. Hey, I never forget. This is what I got. If he, if if, if Spence <laughs> start hitting him like that, I don't know if I could watch the fight. I said, hey, <laughs> relax, okay? <laughs> yeah, that was a twenty four. Yeah. So, when, yeah. but when I spar with him, I just for me it was, and I I came into. But you gotta think at the same time. He's not giving it. He's not going in on you. I came into Cali ready. Okay, but he's not going in on you, I'm, John. Can I get there? Okay, Let because, me get there. This, I came, this is his dad's response. You, I, <laughs> you said something like this before. Oh, so. Well, okay. I came into Cali okay. ready. Okay. We were still a good like six weeks away from okay. the fight. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ready. <laughs> but but I was. I came into to, to Cali ready. And he wasn't exactly ready. You know, his fight was already uh, announced with Anthony and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure it was announced. Yeah. But my dad was just like, hey, oh, I want to come in and get some hard sparring before we go to DC, can 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 I get your, my son in the ring with your son? Boom, we made it happen, and it was it was great. This is what I remember about the sparring. I remember that I was on my shit every single round. Okay, okay. His <laughs> dad said because this, Sean, we could have went off on Sean Porter's ass, and we held off. Listen, okay. Let me, can, I, can I get there? Oh, I'm just saying. I was on my shit we, every single okay. round. Okay, cause, you know, you're my guy. I just don't think you can mess in the with building, the But the building process that you see on uh -huh, fight night, uh -huh. it was the same thing in sparring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and and we're two different weight classes. My, my stuff is all about speed, especially against you because you're so big. Yeah. This was literally cat and mouse. I'm in and out, in and out, in and out. But, I, but this was the funny part. The funny part was we had, we had a great sparring session. It was kind of mm -hmm. like that sparring that sent us to the East Coast to get, yeah. so we was hyped about it. But then I hear Wade and I hear my dad, Sean did this, Sean did that. And I'm like, I'm minding my own business. Cause you know, I'm wrapping my gloves, whatever the case may be. And I'm here, yeah, Sean did this, Sean did that. He looked like this, he looked like that. And the only thing I could think to myself was, well, this dude ain't been training the way I've been training. And this dude is 180, 190, probably. So he was he was taking it easy, yeah. if anything. So relax. Yeah, just relax. Yeah, like, yeah, let's get yeah, to yeah, DC. Yeah, 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 yeah let's yeah. get to DC. But yeah. the, the fact that I'm I can even even talk about being in the in a sparring session with David for 10 plus rounds, and as fun as it was, and as challenging as it was, again, I talk about fighters gotta find ways to have fun with this stuff mm -hmm. because it will wear you down. And you will get burnt out if you're not finding ways to enjoy it. And so my dad's way of getting me out of the, the comfort zone and out of the, the same rigmarole every day was, let's go to LA. Let's get some sparring in with David before we go over to DC. And it was exactly what we needed. I mean, look at how I performed in the fight against yeah. Errol Spence. And this look how the, he performed with Anthony Durrell. That, yeah. And this fight was literally, that sparring session was literally at least six weeks before the mm -hmm. fight. But moments mm -hmm. is what makes the big moment. You know what I mean? And so having little moments with him, even having little moments of struggles against him. There was one moment I was just standing right in front of him. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, you know he, what I mean? Yeah, that, and he went... That's, <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's all I <laughs> So that's the tech. I yeah. literally got text messages. You know, because everybody thought you was going to get mopped anyway. Uh, but everybody was like... Hold on, mopped against him or mopped against Errol? I mean, everybody expect you. If y'all really fought, I'm throwing in the towel. Listen. All okay, right. you getting stopped against Dave Benavides, I'm, I'm and you're retired. my guy. But you know, everybody but the camp and your friends, we yeah. all, everybody, we knew yeah. what the hell was going on. But a lot of people thought this was because oh, of the based Ugas on that. Yeah, Ugas. oh yeah, 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 yeah we talked yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But but no, they just people was already worried, yeah. including significant others. Yeah, <laughs> like relax, relax. We know what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but yeah. just like every man, Sean start getting hit like that. I don't think I could take it. I'm like. 
relax. It's just a clip from all access. I see what they're doing. Yeah. Trying to build it up. But yeah, it was, it was, that moment when you got caught in the corner and he started letting it off, that's what they, <laughs> I was like, God, no. I was like, dude, <laughs> let me get back out. Let me get, get off my lazy track. Does track it feel like you getting hit by like, no, I didn't hurt or anything but I'm like just that. Saying, it was just, it was just like, it, it's for fast? me, it was just, again, like big moments and small moments. It was the moment where it was like, I got caught up being lazy and oh, he okay. found a moment where he's like, all right, he's standing right here. Let me teach him a lesson. Yeah. And he and he ripped off the, the nice little shoe shine on my face. And it was like, like, damn, like, you know, you was, you was shooting like, pretty well. You was mm. 90 from the free throw line. Now your shit just went to 70 because of that moment, you know? But, you know, those are the moments. Again, you asked, you know, who who have you sparred with that you was just like, yo, they didn't show up. Don't say it. I, I've never really oh, sparred okay, with okay, anybody okay. that didn't show up Okay. that I could think of now that I'm thinking. But like, that, like because I've seen y'all work out and it's tough yeah. for somebody to last a whole camp with you guys. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure people didn't make it. Ain't nobody lasting all camp. Yeah, you know? yeah, I'm pretty sure uh -huh. that just y'all that got used to it. Just like yeah. we had a few guys coming. It's in. been guys we've used at the beginning, then we'll bring in on the back end of camp. Yeah. Anybody like that, that came in the camp with you that impressed you, like man, this this guy. Everybody always asked me about my just sparring with uh with uh Ken, with Tank, okay. and I was like, well, the thing about Tank, but Tank was already Tank. Yeah, yeah, what what are you talking about? I was just talking Davis about Davis like, already so David, Sean already Sean. What are you talking about? But Tank is like he's on a different level. Up then you who? came in the spar with Tank, okay? <laughs> Let's get it right. Let's get it right. Oh, yeah. oh slow down, <laughs> goddammit. All right, I'll, I'll make you exit left right now. <laughs> All right. No, nah, but uh, I was in the camp. Tank but, was was beginning his camp, but, and you uh, know just but that's the one where. Exactly everything that I've seen in, in fights of his, I knew what it was, yeah. what the sparring was going to be, and it ended up being just that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a and a and a and a, and a cold killer he is too. Have you sparred with? Uh, so you sparred with Haney, Tank? Have you Shakir? Never sparred with Shakir. That's, yeah, I was wondering because I'm like, I'm pretty sure he you know, asked me to spar. He did. He asked me to spar. Ducked with him. him. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I ducked him. Why? Because I didn't want to spar with him. That, that's a tough. That's a that tough. That was spark. at the end of the career, bro. That was oh. like literally the last fight. I mean, fight. <laughs> that would help you for Terrence. Yeah. Nah, he didn't. I think it was it was before Terrence, but oh. um, he just happened to pop in. Was in town. Want to spar? And uh, and was like, yo, you want to spar? I think he was just you know kind of like just playing around or whatever. But if I say yeah, let's let's get it yeah, in tomorrow, yeah. he'd have showed up. Yeah, yeah. That, but that would have been nice. You would have got all the. I mean, you got Haney, got Tank, Tiafimo, Tiafimo, been in the ring with Tio. Uh. Eventually, all those guys on a collision course down the road. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so that you guys all know, my dad's philosophy for for me uh -huh. was at the end of camp, let me get guys in here that are fast, that could just push on. He needs to get just, he just needs to sharpen, yeah, stay peak. sharp. Yeah. yeah. This is peak week. Stay sharp. Make sure everything is sharp. And let's get guys in here who can challenge mm -hmm. his reflexes and his speed and, and make him step it up. Mm -hmm. Again, when I was talking about Boo Boo Spawn with young Fighters, if you spar with young fighters, they're going to come into the ring ready to challenge themselves mm -hmm. and also challenge you. You don't want to be in a ring. A lot of times you don't want to be in a ring with somebody who has won or fought for multiple belts, knows their way around the ring, knows how to pace themselves, knows how to find moments when they want to work hard, moments when they don't. You want to find the young guys that's hungry, come in ready to work gonna push you. and ready to push you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So um, I think it's going to be a little bit harder for... Uh, me personally, I think it's a little harder for Boo Boo to find work than it is for 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 David, um, because I think um, I just think that the 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 overall package that comes in with David is mm -hmm. like it's just a it's a different kind of he's a hybrid, you know yeah. what I mean? He's the he's big, but he's also fast, but he's also strong, but he can also move. He's got the IQ, can box. It's a it's a a full plethora got of things that you got to yeah yeah just. Yeah, it's, it's, Did you ask mm -hmm. Ni uh, Naeem like wh why he thinks? Nope. Uh, uh, next week we're having Naeem and Larry Grant on the show. I've, I've already announced I it. <laughs> oh, it's, no, I think it might be two weeks. I've seen Larry's yeah. son at the at uh, Game, Changers. Game Changers. He's like, yeah. oh yeah, my dad coming on your show. I'm like, well, who's your dad? <laughs> he like Larry Grant. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. Then over November nineteenth, and we're gonna ask him all that. Yeah, they gonna give up that money, yo. Cause they they all got some bets with that. Is Naeem coming in, or are you gonna be? Uh, I think Naeem gonna come on uh, Zoom. Okay. Uh, Larry will be in studio, but uh, yeah, it just it's it's one of those things you uh 
you ever also been in camp, Sean, because, you know, practice in camp is what determines what's going to happen. Let's say if you play football on a Friday or on a Sunday, on a Saturday, mm -hmm. what's going to happen with you on a uh, on a Saturday. You ever been in camp with somebody or Pops always handled this way? You're like, hey, bro, you're not, you're not, you're not giving me. I know you, you like, no. I know Pops ain't going for that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It don't even yeah. get past yeah. you. It don't get past me. No. Nah. Oh, okay. We we I I can't you know, I I, I yeah, but there yeah. was one time where yeah. after we sparred he was like what you think you want to keep using him I was like no nah, he ain't the guy yeah okay. you know but there hasn't been very many times where my dad kind of for the sake of words consulted what I thought or what I, what I felt about how how the dynamic was he just you know just it's that trust factor yeah. you know I always knew my dad was gonna get it done and uh, he always knew that he would get it done too you know so. He did his job in camp, and then I did my job on fight night. Because I uh, like I've talked to I've talked to kids and uh, talked to teams, and they always ask me like, "What's what's what's very important that like what's what you need to do to be successful?" And I said, "If you guys want to win, scout team, you're the most important." Mm. And that's why we was talking about like we was talking about Gorman last night, and I was talking about all the kids that's successful. The thing about them, Sean, is what they didn't have that what they got over there that we didn't have at Bishop Gorman. They have a number one defense. They have a, a full offense and, and a, a full, full defense. defense. Yeah. So you're peaking all week. Yeah. To be prepared for Friday yeah. and Saturday. Yeah. And that's they number ones don't go against their number ones, do they? Not a little bit, uh -huh. a little bit, a little but bit. not a lot. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. don't. But when they have to turn it up for uh -huh. 20, 30 plays, they yeah. turn it up for 20, 30 plays. Yeah. But and that's what I'm saying. Camp is very everything they're doing now is very important. Mm -hmm. So if you see anything dropping, don't look at oh like I got an easy day. Like yeah. I'm never we we get through this about the kid and stuff. I'm never gonna be giving you something easy because mm -hmm. life ain't easy. Mm -hmm. It just I've had guys in camp and the sparring wasn't going good and we're we're scheduled to do like eight or ten rounds. Yeah. My dad shuts it down at the five rounds, shuts it down at the four rounds. And now those guys are looking like, man, I just got paid for free. Like, can we spar together? Other guy, my dad was like, no, y'all don't spar to each other. That's a wrap. Yeah, get, get said, the hell out every, of here. Everybody's done. Yeah, because I I still need y'all for when he's ready. Mm. Let me get his mind right. Oh, so you you yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was okay. I was a, oh, yeah, I was, okay. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking you got three bombs. No, 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 no. You was the bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was okay. the bomb. Yeah, <laughs> okay. my dad said hey, I got to get his mind right, and when he get his mind right, I need y'all to be firing, and so I don't need y'all sparring with each other. You know what I mean? But there's also been other camps where my dad we. It was a lot of us and my, hey, you guys do a couple rounds after he's done. And my dad would coach other guys too. 